Today we're going to discuss another dysfunctional coping skill narcissists use, reinventing the past. Narcissists have absolutely no healthy coping skills at all. One of those dysfunctional coping skills is reinventing the past into something more palatable. My overtly narcissistic mother was abused by her overtly narcissistic mother until the day her mother died. To tell you the truth, I actually feel very sorry for my mother. My grandmother was a very cold, cruel, manipulative woman. My mother took a lot of abuse from her in her childhood as well as adulthood. Yet currently, if you hear her talk, she'll say she had a loving mother. My mother also went through this phase for about two years where she bragged to me constantly how good she was to me and what a loving, protective mother she's always been. The more my mother's story she told, the more aggravated I got. My mother was lying, but she seemed to believe most of these lies. Sometimes I noticed she seemed to be trying to convince herself that her lies were true. The expression on her face reminded me of someone who's trying very hard to convince another person of what they're saying. It was very strange to say the least, so I finally asked God what was happening. None of this made any sense to me. I saw my grandmother verbally abuse my mother my entire life. She was no loving mother. And I was there for my childhood too. My mother wasn't exactly mom of the year. It was making me very angry my mother was invalidating my pain that she caused. I wanted to know what was happening. Why was my mother saying all these ridiculous things? God gave me my answer as soon as I asked for it. My mother couldn't cope with the fact her mother hated her, so she reinvented the past into something she could cope with, something much more pleasant. If she could convince herself that her mother loved her, then she wouldn't have to face the ugly truth. It was a similar situation with her bragging about what a good mom she was to me. She didn't want to admit she abused me, not out of remorse or guilt, of course, but because she didn't want to feel like she was a bad person. If she could convince herself she was a good mom, then she could ignore the fact she abused me. By telling her stories to me, she also hoped to convince me that she was a good mom as well, and get validation from me. Basically, this is my mother's way to cope with incredibly difficult or painful events. Tell herself they didn't happen, and tell herself they happen in a much more pleasant, happier way. Realizing this was a very good thing, it helped me to understand why my mother was saying the things she did, and to take her ignoring my pain less personally. It wasn't personal at all. It was simply her way of coping with painful and traumatic events. After this realization, I also felt no anger at my mother when she bragged about her impressive mothering skills. This was very helpful for me. I absolutely hate the feeling of being angry, so I was glad not to feel it any longer. Instead, it was replaced by pity for her. I feel sorry for my mother that she can't cope in a normal, healthy way, and she employs these dysfunctional ways to cope instead. This just means she's never going to heal from her problems. That's pretty sad. I also wondered what the best way for me to deal with her was when she would tell these talk tales. Should I correct her? Should I play along? I wasn't sure. After praying about it, I felt neither was the right answer. Instead, I realized that as dysfunctional as it is, it's her right to have this sick coping skill. If that's how she wants to cope with pain, so be it. It's her choice, and it's her right. But that also does not mean that I have to validate it. If she asked me if I remembered an event that she was lying about, I simply said no. Sometimes it was because I remembered the event happening in a happening in much different way than she was saying, and other times because I simply didn't remember it at all. Either way, she was not gaining validation of her lies from me. If this past reinvention thing is happening with the narcissist in your life, please keep in mind what I've said. It's not personal. It's just how they cope. They also have every right to cope in any way that they see fit, even if it's the worst possible way. Also remember, don't validate their lies. Just because they want to believe the lies doesn't mean it's right. And it doesn't mean you should go along with it. You don't have to reward or encourage that bad behavior. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you next time.